investigators in Providence are busy this Christmas investigating two fires, one possibly arson, the other ruled arson. They include the latest from last night when this vacant building on Greenwich Street went up in flames. The other happening just hours before. But as Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright tells us, investigators don't believe they're connected. Investigators are working to make an arrest in two separate arsons. In one case, they have a suspect. In the other, they don't. Two house fires in Providence on the same day, both considered arson. Investigators now trying to figure out who set each one. But obviously it's not good to have two arson fires in one day. The first arson was reported around 4 o'clock Wednesday morning on Silver Lake Avenue. Two firefighters were hurt, both sent to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. One resident inside the house escaped with his dog, but now his home is unlivable. I'm not feeling good at all. That's my health. I don't have any insurance on the house. Two miles away from this scene, a second arson reported. This one happening around 6.30 Wednesday night at a vacant house on Greenwich Street, right next to Ivy Sokol's home. I mean, luckily my roommate's car was out. I think it would have been on fire if it hadn't been out at the time. It was a super weird, scary scene. Um, I think nobody got hurt, which is cool. But, um, yeah, definitely pretty terrifying. Arson investigator Sean Reddy says residents are understandably concerned. They're both uh, great neighborhoods, and we... Uh, it, what what concerns the most is we want the people in both of those neighbors, in Silver Lake and the West End, to feel safe. To feel safe and to know that both arsons are being fully investigated. Reddy says firefighters now know the arsons are not connected. The, uh, Causes and the origin of the fire are in two separate locations uh, within the houses, within the city, and uh, we have a suspect in one of the uh, f uh, fires in Silver Lake. Reddy wouldn't say who the suspect is, only that the arson squad is hoping to make an arrest soon. In the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.